Hey, Mel. Hey. Hey. So I guess I should set this up a little bit better. I'm uh, comedian Rajiv Sathyal, and I'm in Los Angeles, California. I'm on a FaceTime call with my buddy, Melanie Chandra. I'm going to put it out there. I feel really weird holding a microphone on a FaceTime conversation. Right? It looks like you're auditioning for American Idol. Since you've been gone, I can't breathe for the first time. Yeah, a little old me. <laughs> Did you have a good Easter? I had a great Easter. Thank you for asking. Arya did her first ever Easter egg hunt. You know, she's two, and I definitely underestimated her ability to find things. I should have known better. So I, I, I put them in, like, obvious places, and so she was done with her search in, like, 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> she's smart. She has two smart parents. That's not shocking so to me. Sneaky. This week, I finally got back on schedule. I felt like I was really drifting, you know? I went back to my bachelor days of... Sleeping from 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. It was kind of worse. I was sleeping before 3, but I was sleeping almost till 10 a.m. That's really late. That's really late. But yeah. also kind of nice. You need one of those days. You need those days once in a while. Or 21 of those days. I'm now turning my attention to, I don't know, I've been writing these things, musings on the coronavirus. I'm writing more of those. Stand up special coronavirus chronicles went out last week. Then these, look, I'm working with you on this. This, this counts. Yeah. This counts, right? We're creating something together. What's a key insight or a piece of advice you learned in the last week? Um, so on Instagram, I came across this quote. A lot of people, a lot of people I respect were actually posting this. And it said, if you don't come out of this quarantine with one, a new skill, two, your side hustle started, or three, more knowledge, you never lack time, you lack discipline. And you know me, I'm an overachiever. I'm like constantly doing things. But even reading that made me feel bad. I was thinking that there's just so much emotional turmoil going on. Like if you can't do pick up a side hustle, it just seemed a little obnoxious to me. Yeah. So I was, <laughs> and I, I get where that is coming from. And it's speaking to a specific person. I, I wrote it, so. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> um, so I was really happy when someone responded and wrote this and this started circulating. If you don't come out of this quarantine with a new skill, your side hustle, or three more knowledge, you are doing just fine. If we all knew somebody who knew somebody who passed away from coronavirus, I think that's the only way we're going to make actual changes. So, of course, no one take that that I'm rooting for death or, or, or anything like that. Of course not. So I was trying to figure out how many people I know and then what my second degree circle is, right? They say you're six degrees from everybody. And I think Microsoft somebody proved it that it was more like 3.9 degrees to everybody in the world. So I know someone and I can get to anyone in the world with 3.9 or four degrees of separation. So I was kind of going, what does that second circle look like? There's got to be some kind of E or pi or exclamation, like factorial or I don't know, exponential thing. How much will you pay me when I figure this out for you? I'll, I'll pay you the cost of that microphone. When will this end? Predictions, right? Like, how are you feeling about where this is going? How are things going to be different? How will you be different? Of course, no one knows, but this is supposed to be a you know, a marker in time to go look back and go, oh, that's what we were thinking April 15th, tax day of 2020. Idiots. That's what I want to do. I want to go back in time. You're like, there were such idiots back then. I think it's going to be a slow process, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. I, I think the only way it works, I mean, obviously the vaccine, but short of that, I think widespread testing. I mean, to me, the only way this could go, and we might look back and say we were being idiots, but the idea of just going widespread testing, if you are determined to have the antibodies and therefore hopefully you cannot get it and you can't spread it, you can't be a carrier, you get to carry a card that allows you to travel around and the police and the authorities have broad stop and frisk powers. They can ask you for your card, your papers, and civil libertarians are going to throw a fit. But Propose an alternate solution. How else could it work? Society will slowly get up and running. More and more people will be, you know, have the antibodies and herd immunity and all that. And it'll eventually come back. And I, it makes me very angry, but I'm trying to channel my anger into creating things that people want to watch so we can call it not just watching TV, but creating content. <laughs> <laughs>